good morning. <clears throat> See if we can get back in the habit of this. <clears throat> so, um, nine o'clock. <clears throat> Where is everybody? It's another pretty day. <clears throat> we have uh, a couple of doves that have decided to live here. <clears throat> they like our free food we give out, I guess. So, but <clears throat> Suzanne, glad you're on here. <clears throat> Pray for you and Heath and your family and your kids. I, uh, Miss Joyce, glad you're on here. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, <clears throat> it's your choice whether you, uh, come to church or not, Joyce. We're not making you stay home. I hope you know that. You can, you're a grown lady. You can do whatever you want. <clears throat> and, uh, but just, uh, be careful and take care of yourself. Uh, Becky, glad you're on here. And Miss Jan and Paula. Paula, I hope Kevin is feeling better. I heard maybe he was feeling a little rough. So, <clears throat> anyway, I, I sound rougher than I feel, <clears throat> but, uh, definitely has settled in my throat and just doesn't seem to want to go away. So, but we will, <clears throat> we will get through this. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, Jolene, glad you're on here. Hope you're feeling better. And, uh, Randy and Carol, <clears throat> good to see all you guys on here. So I do, I, I have found that Sprite is my best friend <clears throat> with the throat and, I've drank a lot of Sprite here lately, so I, uh, I'm glad Kevin's doing better. Good. I, uh, I, I got a, a, a message this morning from, uh, Sarah Neal and, uh, um, her, her brother-in-law, uh, had a, had a heart attack this morning or last night, mild heart attack. He's in the hospital. So I would ask that you uh, pray for Sarah Neal's um, brother-in-law. And um, uh, she, she was also telling me just uh, hard things. Um, she has a daycare. She has a young lady that has, a, has I think, four kids, uh, two years old, four years old. Uh, I, I can't remember, but has cancer. And, uh, doesn't look like she's going to make it, but a few more days. And so just, uh, <clears throat> a lot of sadness there in that family too, I'm sure. So, uh, <clears throat> so, uh, Carmelita has bronchitis. That, that's usual with her. She definitely gets that a lot, doesn't she, Becky? So we'll pray for Carmelita and sorry about Dave with the COVID junk too. So, um, we'll pray for Dave too. So a lot of junk going around. <clears throat> Some have asked if I had COVID <clears throat> or I, I have no idea. I mean, I, I, I think I had strep throat. Um, it, it was pretty wicked there for a while and now it just won't leave my throat, but, um, who knows? I'm not going to get tested. Uh, you, you're not going to, you know, it's just not going to do it. So, <clears throat> I survived. I lived. So, uh, you can't put me down as one of your numbers. So <clears throat> anyway, um, so we need to pray for each other and, uh, you, you know, it's just like anything, just have good habits, you know, make sure you wash your hands and, uh, you know, be careful of where you go and what you're doing. And, uh, but this, craziness about locking ourselves away uh not gonna work <clears throat> doesn't work we know that it has nothing to do with our health so i'll leave that alone anyway i i uh i want to get into this uh today and oh and i just want you guys to know that we are having our thanksgiving dinner tuesday uh, at the church and so uh, I, I honestly, <clears throat> honestly, I, I just have gotten to the point, I could care less what, what the politicians are saying today. I, I could care less about 
all these guys that are are scaring everybody to death and and telling them you got to lock yourselves away and living in fear you know what you need to live your life and and you need to live your life for the lord and god's the only one that can protect you 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 can yes you need to be smart in in what you do and and the places you go and things like that but God's the one that protects us, and and uh, it's not the government's job, and and uh, um, so yeah, we are. We're we're having our Thanksgiving dinner on Tuesday night at six, and and hope you can come to that, and we'll enjoy it, and we'll we'll worship the Lord, and we will give Him the praise and honor and the glory that He deserves, and and we're we're going to turn around, and we're going to have our Thanksgiving dinner on Thursday, and we're going to have family in, and we're not going to be scared, and we're not going to 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 live our lives determined by some nincompoop that is trying to tell us that the sky is falling and that that you need to to hide out and be terrified and and uh, I I am I am just I am done with this okay I'm done with this the suicides that I'm hearing about here in in uh, Morgan County alone that that our idiotic press won't tell us anything about and nor will our our healthcare officials you know tell us about those that have committed suicide in our in our own county because of this ludicrousness and and the idiocy of this and 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 people can get mad at me and 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 say all that they want and and uh you you can you just do whatever it is that you have to do okay but we're moving on and we're going to live our lives and and uh <clears throat> anyway it uh and these people that are faithless and and are are scared to die and want to hide out hide out okay but don't drag everybody down with you in your faithlessness and in your in your your fear of death and uh, drag us all down to that too you know to 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 uh live as Christ to die is gain for the believer and if you're that scared to die then maybe you ought to ask yourself why and you ought to be real in your heart and trust Christ and let him deliver you from the fear of death and uh <clears throat> it's it's uh it's just crazy days and uh we're just gonna move forward we're gonna do what we need to do we're gonna live our lives the way that god wants us to live our lives and have no fear so i read this today this is the testimony of charles weigel who trusted christ and 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 uh um i i just wanted to read this to to remind you of uh, our salvation. Look, if you know Christ is your Savior, then pour it all onto Him. You know, roll all your burdens onto Him, and and give those to Him. What whatever they may be, whatever the issues are that. And look, I know that some of you are dealing with some real issues right now and some real struggles. And then I'm glad to see you on here and and uh, you know struggling with with uh, Henry last few years with the you know leukemia and. and uh, you know, and and we just go through these. I, I know that, and and but just remember that God's got it, and and that if you know Him as your Savior, there's nothing better. And uh, I I love what he what this guy wrote about his salvation. He wrote this. He said one night as I sat on a rear seat, the Holy Spirit, the High Sheriff of Heaven, arrested me and led me to the front in sight of all the people present. I was convicted and condemned and confessed my guilt to Almighty God. There seemed no hope for me. My sins towered up before me. Then Jesus came and quieted my fears. He paid the penalty for all my sins and guilt. He pleaded my case in the high court of heaven and won my pardon. When this great truth dawned upon my mind, my heart was filled with gratitude and praise. There came a great love into my heart for my Savior. That love has grown until he has the chief place in my life. Someday I expect to see him face to face. That will be heaven for me. Charles Weiger would, Weigel would soon enter into evangelism and be best known for writing the song, 
No one ever cared for me like Jesus. And I, I just, I, I don't know, I just loved reading the testimony of his salvation. And 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 remember that, you know, we, we get so caught up in all of this. And, and um, there there is such an oppression in, in our country right now, such an oppression in our in our families and and you know there are a lot of sad things and and heavy things that are that are going on in in our in our lives in our churches our communities and and um it just seems like you know there's a lot of evil right now but you got to remember that there's there's also someone that tells us that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world and 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 he gives us victory and and we need to live knowing that we're on the winning side of things and, and that there is coming a day when, when righteousness will prevail. And, and we need to, to understand that. And, and let's, let's always keep looking up. Let's always keep looking towards um, the, what, what God has and, and uh, walking with him. And, and let's get things right in our lives when, when we, we see that we're not doing the right thing. I, I look, I read, James chapter four today, and and I thought I'd share some of this with you today. And and he says, from whence come wars and fightings among you? So why is there, why why are there these wars, the, these conflicts, these quarrels and strifes and and the fightings and the disputes and you know why why are they why are they there and and come they not hence even of your lust that war in your members? I mean we're. We have, and, and look, remember my devotion. I I look at this and think, okay, Lord, what is it? And what what lust do I have? What what are some of these uh, unlawful pleasures that that I need to get out of my life? And and that are that are that are truly trying to uh, uh, direct my life and my pattern of of life and. He says, you lust and have not, you kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. You you fight in war, yet you have not because you ask not. And uh, I, I've i said this before, but, you know, our politicians are just a representative of, of what our, our communities have become and what our churches have become so often and, and what even as we as believers have become where where all we're doing is we're lusting and we're we're killing and desiring to have and wanting more and more and more and 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 we're we we uh, have not because we ask not and 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 then he says you ask and receive not because you ask amiss you you start asking things that that are that are bad that are that are wicked and and wrong and then we get mad at God because he doesn't you know answer our prayers the way that we want them and and it's no wonder that our world's in the mess that it is. I mean, really, I, I, I think about my own walk and, and I think about the, the struggles of my own life and, and how so often, you, you know, I kind of walk off like some, uh, I, I don't know, some impetuous child, you know, that didn't get his way and, 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 uh, how, how we need to come back and, and we need to understand the what what God is and who he is and and he, he doesn't want to put up he doesn't just want to put up with us he wants to bless us and he wants us to uh, to have his blessings and guidance in our lives and and to do that then we need to get things right in our lives and get things right in our hearts and and walk with him in 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 a genuine sincere way and 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 that's what he he tells us, he says, ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is the enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. I mean, what what in this world is there that, that would cause us to lust and covet after and, 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 and truly, you know, hurt our walk that we have with God and, and, let, let's give those things up and, and understand that when we're loving those things that, that we can't love God the way that we ought to love God. And well, he goes on and he says, submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. I mean, he, he gives us a whole pattern here of things that we ought to be doing. He draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. 
cleanse your hands. You know, do we not know about washing our hands? And, and here, cleanse your hands of, of the wickedness is what he's insinuating. You know, let's, and, and look, when I, when I read this, I, I read this for my devotion. I read this for me. Okay, God, you said you resist the proud, but give grace unto the humble. Okay, so, so help me not to be prideful in my, in my attitude. Help me to, help me to walk humbly with you. Help me to submit myself to you, to, to your direction, your, your leadership in my lives, help in my life to help me to resist the devil, fight, fight the devil. And, in the things that 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 uh, he's trying to convince me to do, and and uh, let me draw nigh to you, let let me come closer to you, and and walk closer to you, and and help me to cleanse my hands, you sinners, and uh, purify your hearts, you double-minded. And uh, I mean, our world is so double-minded right now, and 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 I feel like sometimes I am too. I, I feel like. Sometimes you, you don't know which way's up, you know, and, and you, you just have to get your heart right with God. You cleanse your hands, you purify your heart and, and uh, confess any known sin that you have and, and, and walk with him the way that we ought to and, and be afflicted. I mean, we, we ought to understand the, the total sacrifice that was made on that cross in order for us to experience forgiveness of sins. And, and it ought to afflict us. It ought to make us sick whenever we think that, that, that what we're doing is a sin against God. And so, uh, we, we, we need to be afflicted and mourn, be sad over our sin and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. You know, we, we, you know, I, I hear preachers all the time, and maybe I do need I need this too. We do need to 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 be encouraged and in, in in some good things said. I I understand that, but you know sometimes we need to face the reality that we need to get some things right with God and and uh, let, let let's get things right with God and humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He shall lift you up. And then He goes on. He says, "Speak not evil one of another, brethren." You know, we need to help each other and, and, uh, you know, and, and then don't, don't be assuming certain things too. You know, we, uh, sorry, the light's not very good here, but <clears throat> don't go assuming that we have tomorrow either. You know, it says, whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanishes away. For you ought uh, to say, if the Lord will, you shall live and do this or that. But now you rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. Look, we, we don't know. We, we do not know whether we have uh, tomorrow or not. We, we, need to, we need to make sure that we are living today in a way that is honoring and pleasing to God. And, and, and do what's right today. Let, let's not focus on tomorrow. Let's not... Let's not focus on on the the idiocy of 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 the press and the politicians who who are are truly wanting to keep you in turmoil so that that they can uh, decide for you what you need to do and 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 honestly take the place of God in your life and and instead you need to just you need to stay focused you need to cleanse your hands you need to purify your heart you need to walk humbly with God you need to to, to to keep a close account of sin in your life and confess that quickly and 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 walk powerfully with God today. And and that's that is what we need. And and you find that when we do that, our faith is seen through our works and and, and we see God use us and, and we can encourage others that that truly are struggling and those that are feeble minded, those that are 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 weak in their faith, those that have no faith. We we can show them that there is something better than anything that this world has to offer, and and we need to we need to set that example. And honestly, I haven't been doing that. I terrible attitude, mad at the world, you know, stressed out over everything that everybody else is stressed out at too. And and I'm sorry, but it's just not right. 
and and we need to we need to walk closer with God and 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 walk with him and be strong in our faith and 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 stand for what's right and and be honest in our dealings and resist the devil and we'll see that God can give us great victory and so we we need to we need to do that we just need to hang in there we need to 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 during this time let our faith grow stronger as we get tested let it be stronger in in who we are in what we do it, it's during this time that God has chosen for us to be here and so let us set the example that will be God honoring and God fearing and so I, I pray that uh, that this is a help today I I still I'm, I'm sorry I I'm kind of glad that it's it's Friday because I uh, just seem to be all over the place in my thoughts. Hopefully by Monday, I'll be a little clearer too. So, but hope that it's a help. And and uh, we're just going to keep walking together and, and serve the Lord together. And and you, you have friends and family that, that need the Lord. You pray for them and set an example for them to see your faith and, and encourage them that Jesus does care and, and that they they can uh, look to Christ and, and find him to... Uh, uh, to be the answer. And, and so, uh, and, and please, these guys that I asked you to pray for at the beginning, pray for them, pray for Heath. Uh, I know Heath is really struggling with the pain from the cancer right now. And, um, I, I just, you, you pray for him. And, uh, I know for his whole family right now, just a, a real hard struggle for them all right now. And so, uh, just a lot of that. And, and, Look, if you know somebody that's struggling, reach out to them. Reach out to them and tell them that you care about them. And, and uh, we're in this together. And so let's be in this together. And, and let's be the encouragement that we need to be. God's the answer. I mean, God's the answer. He's, he's given us salvation. He has given us deliverance. And so we will. We will persevere. And we will get through this. And we will see God's blessings. And so... You guys hang in there. Have a great weekend. Uh, we have church service Sunday, 1045. We, we don't have our Sunday school for a while, but we got service uh, Sunday, 1045, Sunday night at 5. And uh, love for you to, to come. And uh, we have our Thanksgiving dinner on Tuesday night, 6 o'clock. Love for you to come. And uh, God bless you guys and have a great day today.